Western Carolina. So the winner of this game between Southern Miss and uh, the ball club from North Florida will meet Jacksonville State. The loser will meet Western Carolina tomorrow afternoon here in Cancun, Mexico. So getting ready to go, our officials uh, today are Chad Shepard, Daryl Smith, and Mark Maslona. So a three-man officiating crew here in the Cancun. And uh, this is a great setup. The Eagles have been here since a Sunday afternoon, got here late Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and everything you need is right here on the property of the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. All the, uh, the, the restaurants they've got here, they've got everything, everything you could want. And it's been a great experience for the Golden Eagles. Even Doc Sadler, who said on his pregame show, you might have heard him say he'd never been to Mexico other than going across the border there from El Paso to Juarez, Mexico. It's like they're having a little trouble with something over there at uh, the scorer's table. So they're taking a look at that and uh, checking into that. So the Eagles will have another game tomorrow. That uh, ball game will be against either Western Carolina or Jacksonville State, depending on the results of the ball game here this afternoon. Uh, then the Golden Eagles uh, will back, go back home on Thanksgiving Day and uh, be back in action on Sunday afternoon against the Crusaders of William Carey University. So it's a, a, a packed week for the Golden Eagles, a travel day on Sunday, games today and tomorrow, travel again on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, and then back home to take on William Carey on uh, Sunday at Reed Green Coliseum. Eagles again are off to a 3-0 and start. That's the uh, best start in the uh, the Doc Sadler era for the Golden Eagles. Doc, again, in his fifth year with the Golden Eagles, his 12th year as a head coach that includes stints at UTEP and at Nebraska. Matt Driscoll, I uh, appreciate him giving us some time there before the uh, ball game. He's a guy that's done a really good job and, and has kind of invested himself in this uh, North Florida ball club. His 10th year down there, he's 148 and 153, but uh, they had some struggles early in his uh, tenure down there, but he has done a tremendous job of kind of building up this program at North Florida. They uh, are a team that uh, can beat just about anybody on a, a given uh, evening or a given afternoon, and you, you got to like the job that he's done down there at North Florida. So uh, Doc Sadler, head of the Golden Eagles, Matt Driscoll, the head guy of the Flor North Florida Ospreys, and those two squads getting ready to square off here. They're having some sort of issue with the uh, the clock over there across the way. And so the officials are taking a look at it. Some of the tournament officials are taking a look at uh, and trying to fix the problem over there. So the Eagles again will go with uh, Cortez Edwards, Ladavia Strain, Tim Rowe, Kevin Holland, and Tyree Griffin, North Florida starting lineup uh, this evening and this afternoon. Noah Horkler, uh, they've got Washad uh, Uminu, uh, JT Escobar, Ivan Gandhi Rosa and Garrett Sam. So the Eagles will line up of 6-2, 6-4, 6-11, 6-1, and 5-10 North Florida. They've got a veteran ball club. A lot of these guys have been around for a long time for Matt Driscoll's ball club. They go 6-8, 6-7, 6-2, 6-1, 6-7. So a little bigger than the Golden Eagle lineup, but the Eagles will try to utilize some of their speed and quickness against this uh, ball club. And I thought it was interesting, Doc Sadler said uh, before the ball game, he said uh, if one of the teams gets up or down 10 or 15 points, don't worry about it. He said this one's going to go right down to the wire. This should be one of the better matchups in this opening day of the Cancun Challenge down here in Cancun, Mexico. And again, thanks to all the, the folks here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. They've done an amazing uh, job of hosting this event. Uh, for a number of years and also the folks from Triple Crown Sports. They have done an amazing job of putting this thing together first class right from the start. Everything that they've done in regards to this uh, tournament has been first class. So Doc Sadler is over there now uh, talking to the officials. Uh, also Matt Driscoll's over there. So they're trying to solve some sort of issue. I'm not sure it's the game clock or the shot clock, but uh, they're trying to work out all the problems here and hope we can get under way here in just a couple of minutes. So again, the Eagles and North Florida, the winner will play Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State, a relatively easy winner earlier today over Western Carolina. So the winner plays Jacksonville State. The loser will meet Western Carolina tomorrow. The uh, game between the two teams that lose today will be at uh, 1230 local time. That's Eastern time, while the, uh, the two winners will meet at 3 o'clock uh, local time. And uh, so hopefully the Golden Eagles in that the game, the championship game of the Mayan division tomorrow here in uh, Cancun, uh, Mexico. Also got Golden Eagle football coming up 
on a Saturday afternoon. We'll be down in El Paso, Texas. Uh, we'll finish up here. I'll be down in El Paso on uh, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday afternoon. The Southern Miss Golden Eagles and the Miners of UTEP will meet at the historic Sun Bowl Stadium there in El Paso. So the Golden Eagles uh, on the road here. We'll be with you down in El Paso on Saturday and the Eagle basketball team back in action on a Sunday afternoon against the Crusaders of William Carey College. That's a two o'clock ball game at Reed Green uh, Coliseum. So they're still trying to work out some of the problems here. And uh, well, I'll tell you what, we got a second here. Uh, let's see if we can get, go back to the studio for a minute. Will, Will Long's back there. Will get us up to date on uh, a few of the other games that are going on today in college basketball. Yeah, absolutely, John. There's one team in Conference USA that has already wrapped up today. It was UTSA. They took on South Dakota State. That was part of the Gulf Coast Showcase, and the Jackrabbits of South Dakota State were able to take home a 20-point win in that one, 99-79. to A couple of Conference USA teams will tip off later tonight. 6.30, we'll have Louisiana Tech hosting Tougaloo, while North Texas will be playing in the Wolfpack Classic. They'll play Maine at 7 o'clock. And there's one top 25 game going on right now, John. It's 16th ranked Clemson. They're playing Georgia in the Cayman Islands Classic. It's 59-42 Tigers with five minutes to go, John. All right, thank you, Will. Will Long back at the studio. He'll keep us up to date all afternoon about what's going on in the world of uh, college of basketball. And the Eagles are wearing their brand new, those brand new Adidas gold uniforms here uh, this afternoon. Gold with uh, black stripes and black lettering and black numerals while the uh, North Florida Ospreys are wearing their uh, dark blue uniforms, the white numerals and uh, the white lettering. And uh, well, they're still working on whatever that issue is with the uh, clock over there across the way. But uh, we're not too far away, I don't think, from getting things started here at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya. The Golden Eagles flew down here, uh, as did North Florida on Sunday afternoon. Golden Eagles got in here about, it was about nine o'clock or so on a Sunday evening and uh, when they got there boy, they had a great spread laid out for all the teams as they were arriving and it was just a what made you feel great to be here. So again congratulations to uh, Triple Crown Sports to the uh, Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya for uh, putting this event on again uh, right behind the men's tournament will be a women's tournament that uh, gets started. I think it starts on Thanksgiving Day. So uh, it's been a it's a great time for basketball both on the men's and women's side and uh, both of the Golden Eagles in North Florida excited to be here uh, this afternoon for this event as they meet for just the second time and it's funny I was visiting with Matt Driscoll the head coach in North Florida I said Matt me and you are probably the only two guys that were at the last Southern Miss North Florida meeting that was down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast at Gulfport High School back uh, right before Christmas 2009 and it was the Golden Eagles it was the University of New Orleans. It was North Florida, and it was Canisius. All four were playing in the tournament down there at Gulfport High School in what was dubbed the South Mississippi Christmas Classic. And the Golden Eagles met North Florida in what was actually, I guess, the championship game. And North Florida was able to win 53 to 46. And uh, Matt uh, told, told the story, and I remember this because I watched it. He went over to the Gulfport High School athletic director and gave him twenty dollars he said uh, coach we're gonna cut down the nets here's twenty dollars for the nets they got the little cart that they use for volleyball and brought it down to the basket and the north florida climbed up there and cut the nets down there at the gulfport high school gymnasium as so they won that south mississippi christmas classic back on december 23rd 2009 now we're ready to go they have solved whatever problem we have so they're ready to get started here and so Southern Miss and North Florida meeting for just the second time, and it's here in Cancun, Mexico. Tim Rowe jumps center for the Golden Eagles. Tim stands in there at 6'11". Uh, Noah Forkler at 6'8", steps in for North Florida. Eagles go from left to right. North Florida goes from right to left as we get ready to toss it up. Chad Shepard's going to toss it up to get us underway, and the tip is controlled by the Ospreys, and they'll bring it into the front court. So Eagles open up man-to-man. -man. North Florida goes down inside. Short jumper up and good. A little jump hook from Aminu, and he puts North Florida on the board, and it's a 2-0 lead. So 2-0 North Florida. They drop back, and I 
go back into a bit of a zone against this Golden Eagle Ball Club. Eagles out front, right side Holland. Holland going to give it up now on the right side to Edwards. They try to double him up. Swing it around left side to Griffin. Now along the baseline to Rowe. Bounce pass down inside to Drain. Can't handle it. Ball knocked loose and a steal by Sams. And here comes North Florida. They bring it front court. Sams up top. Gives it to Aminu. Aminu now gives it back to Gandhi Arosa. Here's a drive down inside by Escobar. He lays it up with the rim and in. And it's a quick 4-0 lead for the Ospreys of North Florida. So 4-0 Ospreys, 19-10 to go here in the opening. A couple of minutes, Eagles go inside to Edwards, out front, Holland a three, partially blocked, and the loose ball picked up by Aminu. Here comes North Florida already on top, 4-0. Here's a drive by Gandhi Arosa, a spin down inside, and we get an offensive foul. They're gonna call a push off on Garrett Sands down under the bucket. He's gonna pick up his first foul. That'll be the first on either ball club here this afternoon. Four nothing lead though. Four nothing lead for North Florida. The Golden Eagles trying to see if they can't get on track here. Southern Miss will bring it. Here's Kevin Holland. Holland in the front court getting it up to Tyree Griffin. Griffin takes a look at that zone from North Florida. Out of Holland. Holland over to Griffin. Back to Edwards, back up to Griffin. Griffin back to Edwards. Baseline left side, it goes to Rowe. Pass out front to Drain. Baseline to Holland. Eagles turn down the shot, 10 on the shot clock. Back to Drain. He turns down the three, inside to Rowe. Rowe along the baseline, bad pass. Should have shot that one, but he tried to pass along the baseline to Holland and threw it out of bounds. So Eagles turn it over in a 4 0 lead for North Florida. And they've got the basketball. Just underway here in Cancun this afternoon, 8.27 to go. In the opening half of basketball, North Florida going to bring it here's Gandhi Arosa. He gives it up in the left corner to Sam. Sam's goes down inside. Corker with a jump hook inside, no good. And the rebound drain for Southern Miss. Out the pass to Griffin. Griffin in a hurry. Leaves it with a trailer, Holland. Holland dribbling it around towards the left side. And Florida drops back into that sort of a 2 3 zone. Eagles go to Drain, left corner it goes to Kyrie Griffin, rolls out of trouble, and a whistle and he traveled the basketball. Now they put a little pressure on him, he's trying to get it over to Edwards on the wing, but it's a good job defensively by North Florida. And they'll get the basketball back. 17, 56 to go. Here in the opening half, Southern Miss is yet to score, 4 0 North Florida. Gandhi Arosa has it, and a bounce pass out front will come to Sams. He drives, jump hook on the way, good. From about eight feet out, and it's a 6 0 lead. For North Florida with 17.40 to go here in the only half of basketball. Eagles go inside. Here's a drive by Edwards. His first shot of the ball game, no good. Rebound on the offside is going to come down to North Florida. They've got it. Here's Escobar. Escobar hands it off out front. Sams is going to drive. He's cut off by Griffith. Back up to Horkler. And on the right side to Gandhi Arosa. He's going to drive down inside on row. Put it up off the glass. No good. Bad shot. And the rebound Edwards for the Eagles. Ahead to Griffith. Eagles on the break. Here's Griffin. He's going to drive the baseline, spin back outside. There's a blocking foul going to be called on North Florida. So North Florida is going to pick up the foul. That'll be Aminu's first foul, the second on North Florida this afternoon. And Southern Miss will play it in along the baseline underneath their bucket. Tyree Griffin, the trigger man. Griffin looking, a bounce pass to Edwards. There's a little 10 footer by Edwards. No good. And the rebound comes down to Sam's. Eagles are ice cold to start the ball game. Sam's will dribble front court, give it to Horkler. Horkler gives it out front to Gandhi Arosa. Now back to Aminu over near the left corner. Bounce pass goes down low to Horkler. He dribbles out, gives it to Gandhi Arosa over to Sam's on the right wing. He's going to put it on the floor, drive down inside, short jumper off the glass, good. And Sam's is off to a good start, and so is North Florida. They've jumped out to an 8 0 lead with 16 42 to go here in the first down. Kevin Holland for the Golden Eagles trying to solve this zone defense from North Florida. And the Eagles go over to Holland, back up Tom Griffin. Griffin going to drive feet inside to Rowe, goes up with a shot, and he got it. He got fouled on the play. Good pump thing by Tim Rowe, got a man in the air and was able to draw the foul from Aminu. He's going to pick up a second foul. That's two quick ones on Wasan Aminu. And so Tim Rowe gets Southern Miss's first bucket, and he goes to the line to try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Rowe going to the foul line for the first time on the young season. Row the junior out of Lilburn, Georgia, for Southern Miss. He's been a guy that's battled injuries throughout his career. This free throw good, so a three-point play by Tim Rowe. And it's 8-3, North Florida, 16-25 to go. 
Only half a basketball here in Cancun. Gandia Rosa out front for North Florida. They're going to try to go down inside with the Eagles, get a piece of a pass and come with a loose ball. Here comes Southern Miss. Griffin in the front court. Griff out front. He's going to drive. There's a blocking foul on the court by Escobar. Escobar picks up his first foul. And number three on North Florida. So Southern Miss down 8-3. Balangun has checked into the ball game. Balangun has checked in for North Florida. The Eagles have it out front. Here's Holland. Holland up to Edwards. Edwards back up high to row. And now they swing it around left side to Drain. Drain over to Griffin on the right side. Griffin picks up his dribble. Gives it back to Holland. Holland bounce pass into Edwards. Edwards in trouble in the lane. Overhead pass back to Holland. Now to Griffin. Three ball out front. In and out. And the rebound kept alive momentarily by row. But the rebound comes down to Horkler. Horkler gives it to Sams. Sams driving out front. Tim Rowe runs into him and picks up the foul. First foul on Rowe. First foul on the Golden Eagles. We get our first timeout of the afternoon. 15-39 to go here in the first half. It is North Florida 8, Southern Miss 3. Back after this on the Southern Miss IMG Sports Network. You're clear. <coughs> Live stat seems to be down for me. Is it? Do I need to bring you up now? Yep. Mike. Now North Florida's got the basketball in an 8-3 lead. They go out to the right wing with it, and Sam's missed a three-pointer. Tim Rose got the rebound for Southern Miss, and here come the Golden Eagles. Into the front court, Tyree Griffin. Griffin, a swing pass down into Edwards. His pass knocked out of bounds. Trying to cross it, throw it across the lane to drain. Pretty good defensive effort so far by North Florida. Southern Miss has gone one for five. North Florida has gone four for seven. So far in the ball game, Griffin plays it in for the Eagles to drain short jumper. No good, missed one, and it's knocked out of bounds by North Florida. As that time, Horkler and Sams were fighting for the rebound that goes out of bounds. So the miss gets it back. Griffin to play it in into Edwards. He's doubled up at the corner, and he has to throw it out front, and Drain can't handle it. Loose ball picked up by Gandhi Rosa. He drives inside and got fouled by Holland. So Kevin Holland's going to pick up his first foul, number two on. Southern Miss so far this afternoon. Southern Miss really struggling to shoot the basketball to start the ball game. That'll send Ivan Gandia Rosa to the foul line, the junior out of Puerto Rico. So he's got a couple of free throws coming. He's a 100% well, foul shooter so far this year. He's now four for four on the year. He's got his first point of the afternoon. And right now, North Florida's opened up a 9 3 lead. On Southern Miss. Here's a second free throw by the left hander, Gandhi Arosa. He knocked that down as well. And so it's a 10 3 lead for North Florida as we near the 15 minute mark. Golden Eagles struggling to get a lot of good shots. Holland's got it right wing. Holland will dribble it out front, bounce it in the lane to Edwards. Edwards cut off back into the corner. Drain will shoot a three. It's blocked out of bounds. Drain didn't get off quick enough for that shot. Horkler blocked his shot out of bounds. Southern Miss will play it in and here comes the freshman Gabe Watson in for Southern Miss to replace Drain. So Doc Sadler going a little smaller lineup here, a little quicker lineup. See if they can't find a way to attack this North Florida zone. 
Watson to play it in. Watson into Edwards. Edwards down the baseline to Rowe. Tim goes in and lays it in. That's a good pass from the veteran Edwards. And Tim Rowe's got all five of Southern Miss's points. 10-5. Here's a three by Sams off the wing. No good. Rebound underneath comes down to North Florida. They got a foul as they put it on. Balagoon got the rebound and got fouled by Southern Miss. That is going to be on Tim Rowe. That'll be number two on, San, on Tim Rowe. And so getting ready to check in is Bobud Jack Domi for Southern Miss. So at the line, Balagoon, he's got a couple of free throws coming. Balagoon is out of Lagos, Nigeria. Free throw no good off the back of the iron. On the year, Balagoon is now one of eight, one of eight at the foul line so far this year. Here comes his second free throw. It's up and got that one. He gets one of two. I'm going to sub in for Balagoon. This is going to be trip day, 6'7", sophomore out of Columbus, Georgia. So right now North Florida's got an 11 to 5 lead on Southern Miss. We've got 1440 to go first half. Southern Miss a much smaller lineup here now. Here's Holland right side up high. Holland over to Griffin. Griffin back to Holland working against that zone. Now back to Edwards. Edwards near the top of the bubble. Left wing to Griffin. Griffin driving cut off. Gives it to Watson. Driving cut off. Now to Watson. He'll drive. Get into the corner. Give it back to Griffin for a three off the wing. No good. And the long rebound comes down to Burkhardt, who's in the ball game now for North Florida. He gives it to Sam. Sam's driving, and there's a holding foul on Southern Miss. So Eagles having a tough time against that zone. That foul is going to be on to Gabe Watson, who picks up his first foul. Team down, foul number uh, four on the Golden Eagles now. Each team with four fouls. Gandhi Rosa will play it in for North Florida under the bucket. Looking inside, nobody there. Lobs it back out front, chased down by Burkhardt out near the mid-court line. He's going to give it up to Sam. Sam's going to fake, left-handed dribble, hands it off, feed down inside, easy layup. Wide open, trip day inside. And it's a bucket for North Florida. They lead it 13-5 to on Southern Miss. 13.55 to go. In the first half this afternoon. Watson's got it for the Golden Eagles out front. Over to Griffin, right side up high. And now back to the freshman Watson. Back to Griffin. Griffin feeds down inside. Edwards has it. Turn around. Pump fake. No good air ball. Rebound inside by Jack Domi, and he laid it in. So Bowman, Jack Domi gets the offensive rebound and the bucket. Here's a drive down inside by Sams, who throws it out front. Long three by Gandhi. Orosa won't go. And Jack Domi's got the rebound for Southern Miss. Gets it to Griffin. Eagles in a hurry. Griffin driving down inside. Hands it off to Jack Domi, and it's off his hands out of bounds. Wasn't looking for it. Turnover Southern Miss. Eagles trying to solve that North Florida zone. It's caused them all kinds of problems so far this afternoon. Here is Carter Hendrickson in now for Matt Driscoll's North Florida ball club. And he's going to give uh, Sams a breather. 13-7. In favor of North Florida, 13-13 to go first half. North Florida out front with a basketball. Here's Hendrickson driving, gives it up. Now they feed down inside, back up top. Here's a long three straight away, no good. And a long rebound comes out near midcourt and tracked down by Gandhi Arosa. Rosa's got it, left-hander dribble goes behind his back, lost it off his heel, picked back up by Burkhart. Now back it goes into the corner to Gandhi Arosa, 20 on the shot clock. Back up front now to Forkler. Forkler throws it into the right corner. There's the basketball in the hands of Hendrickson. He throws it away. Eagles will steal ahead to Edwards, and Edwards will go up and lay it in. It rolls around the rim and goes in. Cortez Edwards gets his first bucket. 13-9 North Florida. Eagles trying to battle back in this one. 12-30 to go here in the opening half. Gandhi Arosa dribbling the ball out front. Now to the left wing for North Florida. Guarded by Griffith into the corner it goes to Burkhardt. Back to Gandhi Arosa. Back to Burkhardt. They're passing it back and forth. Gandhi Arosa out front to the top of the bubble. Feeds down inside to Horkler. There's a ball knocked loose. Griffin stole it, but has to save it from going out of bounds. And he saves it high in the air. And now we get a whistle. They're going to get a shot clock reset here because Eagles had possession of it. Griffin got the steal and had possession of it and threw it back in. The clock, shot clock never reset when he threw it in and North Florida came up with a loose ball. So we get a couple of subs here. Here comes Dominic McGee in for Southern Miss. Horkler is going out for the ball club from North Florida, and Aminu is going to replace him. So they put 27 actually on the shot clock. 
North Florida, 12 away to go. Opening half of these teams' first games in the Cancun Challenge down here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. Burkhardt's got it, left corner for North Florida. Back out to Gondi Rosa, top for the key to Aminu. Aminu gives it back to Hendrickson, and that ball knocked loose. Aminu picks it up under the bucket and laid it in. So Eagles got their hands on it, but Aminu in the right place at the right time. And it's a 15-6 lead for North Florida. Eagles feed in the lane to Edwards. Fakes it, now shoots it, short one, rolls around the rim and in, 10-footer. And we get a whistle away from the ball, and that may be a foul under the bucket on North Florida. The bucket's going to count. Yeah, but a foul on Hendrickson up under the bucket. So count the bucket by Edwards, and Southern Miss will have the basketball underneath their bucket. 11.40 to go, but we get a timeout on the court. We've got 11.40 to go here in the opening half of action. It's North Florida 15, Southern Miss 11 here in Cancun. Back after this on the Southern Miss I. We're stuck in a local, so. And we're back here in Cancun. They came back quickly, and the North Florida got it. A steal from the Golden Eagles. They took it down the court and got a bucket from Trip Day, and then they've all lost out of bounds off of uh, the Golden Eagles, off of North Florida, rather. Southern Miss with the basketball down six, 17-11. Southern Miss fell behind early in the ball game. They've never led. It's been on North Florida. North Florida going to bring a couple of guys in. Here's Escobar coming back in along with Brian Coffey. And uh, so they'll go with some new guys here. Southern Miss right now with Watson, Griffin, Edwards, Jack Domi, and McGee. And trying to solve this uh, zone they're seeing from this North Florida ball club. Here's Griffin right side up pop and a bad pass and another steal by North Florida. Picked up by Escobar. Escobar gives it up into the corner. A three won't go, and the rebound comes down to Dominic McGee. Hendrickson missed the three off the right wing. Eagles head to Griffin. Griffin faking around to the right wing. Back up to the freshman Watson. Now up high to McGee. And now up top with it, Watson. Back to Griffin, and his pass is kicked by uh, Aminu as he tried to feed it down low to Jack Domi. Which Southern Miss really struggling against his zone. It's, it's kind of a 2 3 matchup type zone, and it's Really caused some of the miss some difficulties here early in the ball game. Got to move the basketball against that zone. Eagles play it in out front to McGee and out to Watson and back to McGee. Now back to Watson. They pass it around out front. McGee feeds inside. A short turnaround jumper by Edwards rattles out. No good. A rebound knocked loose. Griffin stole it, but he stepped on the baseline. Southern Miss kind of struggling to shoot the basketball. Southern Miss is shooting about 33% so far. Here's Drain, the three-point specialist, going to check back in, and Jack Domi will check out. 17-11 in favor of North Florida. 10.36 to go here in the only 20 minutes of basketball. 
front court. Coffee's dribbling it. He hands it off out front to Sams. Sams is back in. He looks to bounce it down low, and he does to Day. Day dribbles out on the wing, cross courts it into the corner. Here's a drive along the baseline, a bad pass, knocked loose by Southern Miss. It's going to go up into the front court and go out of bounds, and it's going to go off of. Did it go off of? Well, they're going to say it went off of North Florida. Edwards hustled down and apparently threw it off the leg of Coffee. So that basketball will go to Southern Miss. It's good hustle by everybody, but particularly Edwards, who was able to throw it off the leg, and Matt Driscoll didn't agree with that. Matt Driscoll talking to Mark Massalona, the official. And he's Southern Miss will play it in there. Up top, Watson still working against that zone they're seeing from North Florida. Watson to Griffin in the lane to Edwards. Edwards spinning into the corner. McGee, Dom with a three, and that's no good. Rebound offside to Drain. Back up top to Griffin. Griffin back to Watson. He'll shoot a three off the wing. No good. And the rebound fought for, and that time North Florida comes out of there with it. Hendrickson got the rebound. They throw it ahead. A three ball right wing is good by Escobar. Fast break three pointer. Timeout, Southern Minutes. Doc Sadler wants to talk it over with his ball club as. North Florida's jumped out to a nine-point lead, 20 to 11. North Florida, 9.43 to go here in the first half. And we're going to hang on right here and uh, tell you about what's happened so far. As Southern Miss fell behind early in the ball game, three to nothing, fell behind 8-3, 11-5, 15-11, and now a 20-11 deficit for Southern Mississippi's Golden Eagles. They're trying to battle back into this ball game. Southern Miss shooting right around 33% in this uh, ball game, and uh, North Florida as uh, well. They're shooting 53%. Actually, Southern Miss shooting 31% so far in the first half on five of 16 shooting. As they find themselves down nine here, about midway through the opening half of basketball. Southern Miss with the basketball. They stay with Griffin, Watson, Edwards, Drain, and McGee. And here's Griffin. Griffin out top to Watson, back to Griffin. Griffin back to Watson, top of the circle. Watson dribbling it around. Got to move the basketball, can't dribble it. Here's Owner to Griffin. Griffin right side, cut off into the corner. Here's a drive by McGee down inside to Edwards. Puts it up with a man on him, no good. And the rebound comes down to Sams for North Florida. Boy, Southern Miss ice cold. Sams a bounce pass down inside. He gets it back. Sams driving, feeds inside, ball knocked loose, but picked up by Sams again. Back up top it comes. Here's Horkler with a three, and he hit it. And the Golden Eagles have dug themselves a 12-point hole. 23-11, North Florida, just under nine to go. Out front, Watson. Over to Griffin, back to Watson. In the lane it goes to Edwards, feeds the baseline to Drain, who hangs in the air and missed a bank shot off the glass. Had two men all over him. And the rebound comes down to North Florida. Here they come. They picked up the pace into the corner. Three ball on the way. There's another one. Good by Escobar and timeout. Doc Sadler. The Southern Miss had made this a 15-11 ball game at one time. But that is an 11-0 run by North Florida. North Florida has gone on top 26-11 on the Golden Eagles with 8.39 to go here in the ball game. So an over about the last three minutes of the ball game. It's an 11-0 run by the Ospreys of North Florida. They are red hot shooting the basketball. They're shooting 59%. They've now made three out of eight three-pointers of the ball game. Meanwhile, Southern Miss is shooting 27.8% so far in the ball game, and Southern Miss has gone 0 for 6 from the three-point strike. And so the basketball is Southern Miss's Doc Sadler trying to Give his team some instructions to get back into this ball game or try to get back in the ball game. But North Florida's really picked up the pace and got that fast break going. Here comes Southern Miss now. Griffin brings it front court into Holland, who's back in. Up top to Griffin. Griffin taking a look at that 2 3 zone. Now it goes around left side to Watson, back up Griffin at the foul line to drain, turnaround jumper, good. That time much more patient, Southern Miss, and they get the foul line jumper by drain. And Southern Miss still low down by 13, 26 to 13. Eagles got to dig on the defensive end. Here's Sam's driving on Griffin, missed a short one, rebound batted around, but saved in by North Florida. There's a three off the wing that's no good, and then over the back, Horkler. Over the back of Kellen Holland to pick up a foul on that rebound attempt. First foul on Horkler. 
And so Southern Miss gets it back there down 26 to 13 to the Ospreys of North Florida here on the opening day of the Cancun Challenge at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya in Cancun, Mexico. Here the Eagles and here is Tyree Griffin. Griffin to the front court, over to Watson. Watson dribbling it around out front, back to Drain, back to Watson, turned down a three, bounce pass baseline, Edwards under the bucket dribbling, back to the wing to Drain, up top Griffin, Griffin going to drive, feed down inside, back over to Edwards, up under the bucket, Edwards somehow gets it up between a couple of guys and lays it in. Six points for Edwards, 26-15, North Florida with seven and a half to go here in the first half. Sams has got it for North Florida, he's dribbling it around out front, Eagles go for the steal, didn't get it. And now Sams gets it up to one of his teammates on the right side. Now back up top, here's a three by Sams on the rim, rolls around and goes in. Garrett Sams has got nine points to lead everybody. And it's 29-15 North Florida, 7-10 to go. Drain for Southern Miss, bounce pass to the foul lane, Griffin. Griffin feeds the baseline to Holland. Holland cut off inside, back out front. Griffin with a three, no good. And the rebound knocked out of bounds, and it's going to go to North Florida. Sam's wound up on the seat of his pants down along the baseline. Timeout on the court, seven or six rather, 58 to go here in Cancun. North Florida's jumped out to an early lead, 29-15. The Ospreys lead the Golden Eagles here on the Southern Miss IMGs. Down 29-15 to North Florida, 6.55 to go here in the first half of the ball in the hands of the Ospreys of North Florida. They get it out front. Here's a three by Escobar, and he knocked down another one. J.T. Escobar's got three threes, and it's a 17-point lead for North Florida. Golden Eagles in the front court. Here's Griffin. Griffin is scoreless so far in the ball game. Left wing, it goes down inside. Edwards turnaround jumper, bad shot, no good. That's a shot way off the mark by Edwards, and the rebound North Florida. Here they come, Horkler front court, right wing it goes to Gandhi Orosa. Now into the corner it goes to Trip Day. Day back out front, left handed jumper, no good off the jump shot by Gandhi Orosi. Sundamus has a rebound. Griffin's got it driving, cut off, but knocked loose, picked up by Edwards. Back out front, Watson a three straight away, no good. Eagles without a three, and the rebound, Horkler's got it for North Florida. Golden Eagles getting just one shot down the court. North Florida front court, they feed down inside, turn around by Day, he laid it in. Trip Day's got six off of Matt Driscoll's bench, and it's a 34-15 lead for North Florida. So the miss out front, into the corner, Watson shoots a three, bingo. Gabe Watson finally knocks down a three for the Golden Eagles. But it's 34-18 North Florida. Boy, they play at a fast pace. They go down inside with it and go into the corner. Here's a jumper on the way. A three ball no good by Escobar that time. And the rebound comes down to Southern Miss. Into the front court, Tyree Griffith. Griffin to Watson. Another three out front. In and out. And the rebound knocked loose. And North Florida gets it. And it's picked up by Sams as he falls to the hardwood here in Cancun. 34-18. North Florida, five minutes, 13 seconds to go before intermission. Out front, Gandhi Arosa 
Dribbling it around right side. Back up top. Here's Escobar again with a three. That one just caught the bottom of the net and goes out of bounds. So the minute's going to bring Dominic McGee into the ball game. North Florida's going to bring Carter Hendrickson in the ball game along with Ryan Burkhart. So it's a 34-18 lead for North Florida. 5.04 to go here before halftime. Doc Sadler trying to find the right combination. Some of the men's front court watching over to Holland. Holland directing traffic, trying to get everybody set. Now, going to give it to Griffin out front. Over to Watson, left side of the key. Back to Griffin. Griffin looks inside about it there. Back to Watson. 12 in the shot clock into the corner. McGee. McGee back to Watson. Watson going to fake, drive, pull up, jumper out front. No good. And the rebound comes down to Horkler for North Florida. Southern Miss really struggling to shoot the basketball in the first half. In the front court, North Florida's got it. They almost lose it. Picked up. They get it over to the left side. The jumper no good from Burkhart. And the rebound put back up and in. 36-18, North Florida. They doubled up the Golden Eagles to go down inside to McGee in traffic. Doubled up his shot, blocked under the bucket, and picked up by Burkhart. Burkhart, front court dribbling, gives it to Horkler. Horkler feeds down inside, and a foul over the back on Kevin Holland as they try to post up Burkhart. Holland's going to pick up his second foul. Southern Miss shooting 30%. North Florida right now shooting 52% of the ball game. Neither team in the bonus yet. 16 fouls on both clubs so far. Gandhi Arosa is going to play it in for North Florida. Out front and into the corner it goes. In the corner with it is Gandhi Arosa. He's guarded by McGee. Left-hander dribble out front. He hands it off to Day. Day swings it left side. Now it comes back and back into the left corner. In the corner with it, Burkhart. Now back out front, a three ball no good by Gondel Rosa. And the rebound comes down to Griffin. So Southern Miss with it. Griffin driving, gives it to Edwards. Edwards back to Watson. Watson gives it to Griffin. Eagles still struggling against that zone defense. There's a shot. Well, it shot it looked like a shot by McGee didn't take it now it's going to go inside to Edwards inside gives it into the corner Watson with a high arcing three bingo Gabe Watson the freshman has a couple of threes 36 21 North Florida back into the left corner basketball in the possession of North Florida they lose it but get it back day has it throws it back right side to Gandhi Arosa guarded by Watson He's going to look for a pick now feed down inside it goes into the corner. Here's a jumper on the way. That's no good rebound fought for and over the back to get it is Horkler for North Florida throws it away. Griffin the steal and he's all by himself and Griff goes up and lays it in. Tyree Griffin's got his first bucket of the ball game. 36 23 North Florida 247 to go before halftime. North Florida front court Gandhi Arosa comes off a pick. Gives it back to Horkler. He'll shoot a three. The big guy missed it, and the rebound fought for. Southern Miss has it. Edwards the rebound. Ahead to Griffin. Griffin into the front court. Griffin out front Edwards. Edwards going to drive down inside, throw it back to Watson. A three on the way by the freshman. No good. Just hit the backboard. And the rebound comes down to North Florida. Here they come in a hurry. Out front, they feed inside, and a dunk by Horkler. Timeout, Matt Driscoll. North Florida wants to talk it over. North Florida has a 15-point lead on Southern Miss, 38-23. North Florida with 2.15 to go before halftime. We'll take it with them back after this on the Southern Miss IMG Sports Network.
Miss with the basketball. They're down 15 to North Florida, a couple of minutes away from halftime here in Cancun. There's Tyree Griffin with the basketball over to Gabe Watson. Back up Tom Griffin at the foul line. Edward driving inside, feeds the baseline. Up with a shot, Kevin Holland couldn't get it to go. And the rebound comes down to Horkler. Horkler's got it for North Florida. Southern Miss shooting 33% here with the first half. North Florida goes left corner with it. Now back out front, it comes to Gandhi Orosa. He is guarded out there by Watson, dribbles left side, back up top, Horkler feeds out inside, and that shot up and in. A short one inside by Aminu, who had posted up in the side of the bucket. And now 40-23, 17-point lead for North Florida. Watson for the Golden Eagles, gives it to Holland. Holland back inside to Griffin, out front Watson. He's going to drive, cut off, back to Griffin. A three ball by Griffin, barely caught the front of the rim. Horkler's got the easy rebound. Horkler going to bring it. Eagles being shooting too quickly, very anxious to get a shot up, try to get back at the ball game. Down into Aminu. Aminu posted up on Edwards, got an easy one to lay up. Eight for Aminu, and it's 42-23 North Florida with one minute to go before halftime. Well, they are laying it on Southern Miss right now. Southern Miss is really struggling to shoot the basketball. Here's Griffin, drives inside, feeds the baseline to McGee. He's cut off. Back to Griffin on the right wing. Griffin up top to Holland, over to Watson. Watson gives it to Griffin. Griffin back to Watson. Watson faking, dribbling, feeds down low. Edwards down inside in traffic. Goes up with a fall away shot block. Loose ball picked up by Horker. Horker got the block and the rebound. He gets it ahead. Here's a drive by Sams to the bucket. Double pumps it up and in. Wow. Sams has got a 11 point first half. 44-23. North Florida, 18 seconds to go. The Eagles will play for the final shot of the first half. Watson has it. Over to Holland. Back to Watson. Eight seconds to go in the first half. Again, it goes to Griffin out front. Griffin, three feet into the corner. McGee, a three, his shot blocked. Picked up by Sams, and what a first half. Aminu blocked the shot out of the corner by McGee, and that's about as good a first half as you could play if you're the Ospreys of North Florida. They put on a show and take a 21-point lead into the locker room at halftime. 44-23, North Florida is up on Southern Miss here in the Cancun Challenge here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. Halftime here in Cancun. North Florida 44, Southern Miss 23, here on the Southern Miss IMG Sports.
right, second half getting underway here in Cancun. The Golden Eagles down by 21 to North Florida. Golden Eagles see if they made some adjustments. They got to play a little better here in the second half. Here's Kevin Holland, baseline pass to Tim Rowe, puts it on the floor, drives, feeds inside to McGee, who puts one up, no good. And the rebound comes down to North Florida. Eagles are getting some decent opportunities in and around the basket, but unable to convert. Aminu's got it out front for North Florida. He gives it back out front to Escobar. Into the right corner comes to Horkler. Horkler back out to Escobar. He comes off a pick, driving the right side of the basket. Throws into the left corner to Sams, who fires it back out front to Aminu. And Aminu has it taken away by Edwards, and Cortez will get an easy layup. Well, that's a good way to start it right there. Edwards, eight in the ballgame this afternoon at 45 25 and about a minute into the second half. Out front, Escobar a three, and he rattled that one out. No good. Tim Rowe goes up to get the rebound for Southern Miss. Southern Miss will bring it front quarters. Kevin Holland over to Griffin. Griffin to Holland. Baseline to Drain. Turn down the three. Feeds inside. Edwards inside. Got that one. Left it short. Rebound. Tim Rowe tried to get the rebound, but Sams took it away from him. And now they call a foul. Did they call a foul on Sams or say he stepped out of bounds? It's just going to be out of bounds. It'll go back to Southern Miss. Sams and Rowe were battling, and uh, Sams may have stepped on the baseline. Eagles are playing in. Griffin into Edwards. Edwards out front with it. Feeds inside the corner to Drain. A three ball by Drain. That's an air ball. It's, and a save in by Sams. And everybody battling for it. It's going to stay with Southern Miss as the ball's knocked out of bounds again. And off of the Ospreys. Action up under the bucket. But so far, just a single bucket scored in the second half. Southern Miss into Holland. Holland gives it up left wing. Griffin. Griffin driving inside, feeds the baseline. Drain inside, puts up a bad shot, partially blocked. And the rebound comes down to North Florida. Here they come. Sams into the corner. Escobar with a three that won't go. And the rebound. Horkler comes over the back of Tim Rowe to pick up a foul. Southern Miss down 44-25. Here this afternoon in Cancun in the opening day of the Cancun Challenge. Southern Miss trying to get something going here. They have really struggled to shoot the basketball. Here comes Holland's got it for Southern Miss. Holland back out front to Edwards, back to Holland. Holland in the lane to Griffin, a turnaround jumper. Good, about a 12-footer for Tyree Griffin. So Southern Miss has scored the first four points of the second half. Are down 44-27. Front court, here's Escobar. He gives it up, left side, ball knocked loose, picked up by Rowe. Eagles get a steal, and Griffin found in the backcourt by Candy Orosa. So Southern Miss has trimmed four points off that deficit. And trying to see if they can't continue to do that. Sams is coming out for North Florida. He is replaced by Hendrickson. So Southern Miss with Drain, Holland, Edwards, Griffin, and Rowe. There's that. It's a 1-3-1 one, one kind of zone look now from North Florida. Out front, Edwards. Back to Holland. Holland in the lane. Griffin feeds the baseline. Reverse layup. Good by Tim Rowe, and he got fouled on the play. Six in a row to start the second half for the Golden Eagles. So the bucket counts. So that foul is on Escobar, who picks up his second foul. Rowe, a three-point play opportunity here. Free throw up and no good. Rebound comes down to Horkler. But Southern Miss back to within 15, 44 29, 17 26 to go. Here before the end of the ballgame. North Florida front court. Hendrickson looking, looking, looking and throws it away. Edwards got a steal. Edwards on the breakaway. Drives inside on Aminu, lays it up no good, but drew the foul. And we'll get. It looks like a timeout coming. A timeout coming by North Florida. 17-10 to go here in the ballgame. 44-29. Golden Eagles down 15 to North Florida.
Cortez Edwards at the foul line for the Golden Eagles knocks down the first. So that's a 7-0 start to the second half by Southern Miss as they try to battle their way back into the ball game. Second free throw in and out for Edwards. Got to make those free throws. That one rebounded by North Florida. So down, they're up 14. Eagles are down at halftime by 21. They're down 14 right now. And Eagles trying to pick up the defensive pressure a little bit. North Florida hands it out front in the hands of Day, and Day's going to hand it off to Escobar. Back to Corkler. He feeds down inside. They throw it back into the corner. Here's a three ball on the way. That's off the mark and drain the rebound for Southern Miss. Another good defensive trip for Southern Miss. Kevin Holland front court gives it to Edwards. Edwards back to Holland. Holland out front, drills around the horn left side. Back up top against the zone. Back to Holland. Down inside Griffin. Down to Rowe inside. Tim goes up and lays it in. That's the way you pass across the zone. And the Golden Eagles have cut it to a 12-point ball game. And Tim Rowe has got a nine-point ball game for the Golden Eagles. Front court, out front, Horkler open for a three. That's an air ball. Rebound comes down to Edwards. And Griffin comes up limping for Southern Miss. Tyree Griffith kind of walking it off. Southern Miss down 12. They started the second half on a 9-0 run. Good adjustments. Good job of moving the basketball around then. Sort of matchup zone from North Florida. Escobar is going to come out. Sams is going to come back in. And Griffin says he's okay. He's going to stay in the ball game. Here comes Kevin Holland dribbling into the front court. Gives it to Edwards. Back over to Holland. Back to Edwards. They pass it back and forth up front. Back to Holland. In the lane, it goes to Griffin in the corner to Drain. Got a man in the air. 12-footer by Drain. Oh, it rattled out. Row the rebound. Back up. It wouldn't stay. He got it again. Row back up again. It wouldn't go. Rebound this time comes down to Gandhi Rosa for North Florida. Boy, big opportunity there. North Florida front court. They go down inside to Horkler. Horkler driving on Tim Rowe. He cut him off. Turnaround jumper. No good. Rebound Southern Miss. Pulled down by Holland. North Florida has it scored in the second half. Holland front court for the Golden Eagles. Off to Edwards. Edwards up top to Holland. Fake the three. In the lane. Bounce pass Griffin. Turn around jumper. Left it short. Boy, and the rebound comes down to Sams. He got fouled by Tim Rowe. Boy, Southern Miss has had three or four point blank shots that could have made this a single digit lead for North Florida. We get a timeout on the court with 15 24 to go. 44 32, North Florida, who had a 21 point halftime lead, leads the Golden Eagles by a dozen. Back after this on the Southern Miss IMG Sports Network. Florida plays it in. They get the ball down inside to Horkler. He got uh, fouled by Cortez Edwards. It will not be a shooting situation. Southern Miss is outscored North Florida 9-0 here in the second half and taking a 
21 point deficit turned it into a 12 on alley oop to Horkler under the bucket. He turns, leans, puts it up on the rim, wouldn't go. And the rebound comes down to Southern Miss. Strain got the rebound. So North Florida in the second half has gone 0 for 6 from the floor. Southern Miss against that zone defense of North Florida. Up top, Holland. Holland up top to Edwards. Edwards puts it on the floor once, gives it to Griffin. Back to Holland along the baseline to Rowe. Rowe feeds inside. Edwards hands it off to Drain. Drain goes up hard to the rim and lays it in off the backboard. An 11 0 run by the Golden Eagles to start the second half. And it's a 10 point game, 44 34. North floor in the front court. They're going to drive the baseline. They get trapped underneath. They give it up left wing. Here's a jumper that won't go. And the rebound drain for Southern Miss. North Florida is ice cold. Here's Kevin Holland for the Golden Eagles. Kevin into the front court. 14 16 to go here in the ballgame. Eagles to Griffin to Holland. Turn down the three. Back to Griffin. Over to Edwards. Edwards into the corner. Here's a drive by Drain to Rowe to Holland up top Griffin. Griffin is going to drive inside and a holding foul or a pushing foul inside on North Florida. I'll give the Golden Eagles a reset on the shot clock. That foul is on Gandhi Arosa. It's his second. So Southern Miss a 11-0 run to start the second half and now only a 10-point lead for North Florida. Southern Miss will play it in. Griffin, Holland, Edwards, Rowan Drain. Southern Miss front court. Here's Edwards up top to Holland. Had Drain didn't get it to him quick enough though. Now back to Edwards. Now to Holland again. Holland in the lane. Bad pass. Boy, a turnover the Golden Eagles. That's a costly one. In the front court, North Florida. Sam's on the right wing. Sams lobs it high and Griffin knocked it away. Picked up by Edwards on the brink. Edwards going to drive the lane down inside, put it up, bad shot. He went into traffic and missed the easy one. The ball knocked out of bounds off the Ospreys by Griffin. Griffin chasing down Sams and he knocked it off his leg out of bounds. 44-34. North Florida boy Eagles had a couple of chances. It could be about a six-point ball game right now. Drain will play it in for Southern Miss. Drain throws it into the backcourt to Kevin Allen. Allen dribbles it across the timeline, gives it to Griffin. Griffin back to Holland. Holland back to Griff. Griff trying to move it across that zone. Drives feeds inside. Eagles lose it. Picked up by Rowe. Back to Drain. Left corner. Drain back to Edwards. Driving the baseline under the bucket. Hands it off to Rowe. Who lays it up and in? Tim Rowe off the Edwards assist. It's an eight point ball game. Tim Rose had an 11 point ball game going 44 36 North Florida front court. They've not scored in the second half. Here's a drive down inside. They throw it in and Horker got a layup. That's their first bucket. It took them seven minutes to get their first bucket of the second half. So the miss will bring it and now we get a whistle. 46 36 that was a 13 0 run to start the second half by Southern Miss. They get themselves back in this ball game. Substitution for North Florida. Sams is going to come in to replace Burkhardt, who had come in a moment ago. So they miss. It's gone the same way here in the second half. Holland, Drain, Rowe, Griffin, and Edwards. Kevin Holland out front. Let's see what uh, North Florida is going to do defensively here. Eagles go to Drain on the right wing. They've got sort of still sort of that matchup zone. Here's Griffin back up to Drain, back to Griffin. They're trying to find Drain an opening here. Drain out front, right wing to Holland. Holland out front. Holland back up to Griffin. He'll shoot a long three. Oh, it rattled out. Tim Rowe tipped it out, but tipped it out to North Florida. With the basketball, Gandhi Arosa gives it up. To Escobar a three, and he missed it. And the rebound tipped in. Oh, boy. That time, Hartner came flying in, leaped above everybody, and tipped it in with his right hand. It's back to a 12-point ball game. 48-36 North Florida as we near the 12-minute mark. Southern Miss to Edward. Up top, Holland. Holland going to take a dribble, give it to Griffin. Griffin going to drive, feet inside to Rowe, got a man in the air and got fouled. So Tim Rowe going to the foul line. When we come back, 48 36, North Florida leads Southern Miss 11 50.
44-23 at halftime. They got it down to a 10-point ball game at 46-36. Since then, North Florida finally has got a, a couple of buckets. They're up 48-36 on the Golden Eagles, but still 11:55 to go. The Eagles can play this uh, final 11 minutes or 12 minutes like they played the first eight minutes or so of this second half. They're going to be right back in this ball game. Southern Miss going to the foul line. Tim Rose going to the line to shoot two. Southern Miss is two of four at the foul line tonight. Tim Rowe at the line had not been to the foul line this year. And so he goes to the line here. This one up, no good. Boy, he's had a tough time. He's one of three at the foul line. Got to make those foul shots if you're going to get back in a ball game like this. Got to take those easy points they give you. Rowe will shoot a second and got that one. He gets one of two. Tim Rowe's got a dozen points. He leads the Golden Eagles scores. 11 point game. Eagles got to dig in on the defensive end. Front court dribbling. Gandhi Arosa guarded by Griffin. Look at Griff come over a pick and stay right with him. Griffin chasing him out front. Gandhi Arosa comes off a pick. Still dribbling. Frees it inside and they lost the basketball. They lose the handle. Eagles have it. Here's Griffin. Griff driving to the bucket, and he threw one away. A steal that time under the bucket by Escobar. And Griffin may have caught him across the eye as they were going after. Griffin got hit over the head, it looked like. Escobar got kind of poked in the eye. Basketball is going to go to Southern Miss. Well, they've been, those little guards are getting beat up out there. 48-37, Southern Miss going to play it in. Down along the baseline underneath their bucket. Into the right corner it goes. Kevin Holland feeds Edwards. Edwards into the corner. Griffin with a three. Wouldn't go. And a long rebound. Edwards chases it down for Southern Miss. Cortez is everywhere. Gives it to McGee who's in now. Up top, Edwards. Up top, Holland. Left wing, Griffin. Griffin looking at that zone. Back to the right side, Holland. Holland off the dribble in the lane. Here's Edwards in traffic. Little jump hook good by the right-handed. Cortez Edwards, he's got 11, and it's back to a nine-point game, or to a nine-point game, closest it's been in a long time. Eagles now going to dig in on the defensive end. Here's a shot. Nope, fake the shot out front. And now they're going to bring it back out. Give it to Gandhi Arosa. He's dribbling over near the right corner. Picks up his dribble into the right corner. It goes. Balogun will shoot one and miss it, and the rebound Southern Miss. Pulled down by Edwards. Boy, North Florida is, they were red hot in the first half. They've been ice cold in the second half. Here this afternoon in Cancun. Eagles a chance to get it to a six or seven point ball game with the Buccaneer. Griffin up top, Holland. Edwards feeds inside. Edwards has it. Turnaround jumper. Oh, it wouldn't go. Got a good pass from McGee and couldn't get it to go. Front court, Gandhi Arosa. And Eagles get a steal. Griffin steals it. McGee on the breakaway. Dominic goes up and slammed it in. His first bucket of the ball game. And it's a seven point game at 48 41, North Florida, as we near the 10 minute mark. North Florida just four points in the first four, ten minutes of the second half. Out front, Gandhi Arosa going to get a high pick. Come off the pick. Feed inside into the corner. Here's a three ball by Escobar, and he hit a big one. Escobar, who hit three threes in the first half, knocks one down there to make it a ten-point game again. Kevin Holland for the front court for the Golden Eagles. Holland off to Griffin. Pace, pass inside to Edwards, and then Edwards tried to feed Rowe along the baseline. It went off his leg out of bounds. Top rank there for the Golden Eagles, who for the most part done a pretty good job of taking care of the basketball. 51-41, North Florida. 9.33 to go here this afternoon at the Cancun Challenge at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. In the front court, North Florida on the attack. Coffee's got the basketball. Coffee dribbling it around out front. Into the right corner it goes to Escobar. Escobar's going to fake, drive, and get tied up by Gabe Watson. Do they call a foul or a jump ball? They're going to call a foul on Gabe Watson. Must have got him on the arm. Second foul on Gabe. Tim Rowe's going to get a breather, and here comes Bobin Jack Domi in for Southern Miss, the 6'9 junior out of London, England. Ten point ball game. North Florida on top. They play it into Coffee. Coffee out front. Driving, he almost traveled. 
Gets it back out front to Escobar. Escobar comes flying off a pick off the dribble. Hands it off on the left wing. Hands it off out there to Coffey. Coffey driving, throws it back out front. There's a jumper on the way. Eagles block the shot, and the rebound comes down to North Florida. They miss a shot under the bucket from way out front. And a steal and a bucket. Oh, Eagles had it, and Sams took it away and got a layup. And it's back to a 12-point ball game. Out front, Griffin to Watson. Watson to Griffin. Big possession here for Southern Miss. They have battled to get back in it. they got to have one here. Feed down inside, and the Eagles lose it. McGee couldn't hang on to it. Sams has got it. Eagles poke it away, but a foul on McGee from behind. Foul on McGee will be his first. Eagles had it down to a seven-point ball game, but right now back up to a dozen. 53-41 with 8.27 to go. Edwards going to get a breather for the Golden Eagles, and here comes uh, Shakur Daniel and Shaq Daniel, true freshman out of Ajax, Ontario, Canada. Edwards just played the whole ball game. They gave him a breather. Out front, Coffey lost it out near the center circle, pressured by Watson. Now off the pick comes Coffey back out front. Now they go to Sams. Sams is going to drive inside, put up a shot. Good, and he got fouled. Oh boy, that one hurt. Doc thought he'd travel with it. That's going to be on Daniel, who had just checked in. So Sam's with a bucket, and he draws the foul, and it's up. Did they count the bucket? Yeah, I think they counted the bucket. They had to. Free throw is good. So a three-point play by Garrett Sam's. So we near the... Eight minute mark, something wrong with the scoreboard. I think the scoreboard's got the score wrong. Up top, Griffin for the Golden Eagles. Back to Watson. Watson back to Daniel. Daniel out front and called for double dribble. It's a turnover by the Golden Eagles. We're going to get a timeout on the court. It's a 13 point lead now for North Florida. 56 43, 7 55 to go back after this on the Southern Miss IMG Sports Network. You're clear. Fifty-six forty-one is the score now. North Florida Eagles had got down to about a seven-point ball game, but North Florida has kind of recovered. They were not shooting the ball and still aren't shooting it well in the second half. Five of sixteen. Eagles eight of twenty in the second half. Here comes Coffee in the front court drilling. Eagles have been man-to-man -man the entire ball game. He's Coffee guarded by Watson. Coffee top of the bubble, and we get a whistle and a foul away from the ball. Going to call that on Southern Miss. It's going to be on Watson. It'll be his third. So six fouls on uh, both ball clubs now here in the second half. And the basketball will be played in along the baseline by North Florida. Kevin Holland returns. He replaces uh, 
Shakur Daniel. Ames takes the inbounds pass, dumps it down low to Horkler. Horkler in traffic, puts it up to travel with it. Good defense that time by Dominic McGee to force the traveling violation. A Southern Miss not out of it, but they got to get on a little bit of a run here as Tim Rose going to come back in to replace Jack Domi. 56-41, winner of this game will meet Jacksonville State tomorrow afternoon. The loser meets Western Carolina. Here comes Tyree Griffith. Griffith, the front court for the Golden Eagles, gets to do Holland. Holland back over to Griffin, working against that zone. They dump it into McGee, turnaround jumper, a short one, short, no good. Rebound, McGee is going to pick up the foul, trying to get the offensive rebound. So they'll walk to the other end. That'll put North Florida in the bonus. 56-41. Second ever meeting between these two ball clubs. They met back at the South Mississippi Christmas Classic in Gulfport, Mississippi, back in December 23rd. 2009 free throw rattles and that'll go in for Sam's. He'll get a second free throw. Sam's right now with a 15 point ball game and make it 16. He knocks down the second free throw. Now the Eagles had whittled it down. Looked like they were back in the ball game. All of a sudden it's a 17 point ball game again in favor of North Florida. Holland to Edwards. Up top to Holland again in the lane to Griffin back out to Holland or a three on the way. That's no good by Edwards. And the rebound comes down to Horkler for North Florida. So Eagles have grown cold and all of a sudden North Florida's hitting a lot of shots and getting to the foul line. They come up top with it and now they give it up to Escobar who drives, gives up in the corner to Coffee who missed a three and the rebound on the offside to Kevin Holland. Here comes Kevin into the front court. Holland. Over to Griffin. Griffin going to drive down inside, hand it off to Tim Rowe. Rowe under the bucket. He traveled with it. The Eagles turn it over. 6.46 to go. A 17-point lead now for the Ospreys of North Florida. And try to give the Golden Eagles their first loss of the season. Gandhi Arosa dribbles front court for North Florida. High post pass goes to Horkler. Forkler squares up to the bucket, gives it up to Gandhi Arosa again. He'll drive to the left side. They'll weave it around a little bit. Now here's Escobar out front. Escobar back to Horkler. He'll turn and shoot a jumper. It's long, no good. Rebound, Tyree Griffin with the Eagles. Griffin in a hurry the other way. Griffin fakes, dribbles, drives down the lane in traffic, put it up and in. He went right at Horkler and was able to lay it in off the glass. Griffin's got only six tonight, though, for the Golden Eagles. 58-43. Edwards pressuring Gandhi Arosa in the backcourt. Eagles got to get on one of those runs again to try to get it back into single digits, try to get back in this thing. Gandhi Orosi drives and banks one up, no good. Horkler got the rebound back up, left it short, and row the rebound for Southern Miss. Eagles have it coming the other way. Here's Tyree Griffin. Griffin the front court fakes, dribbles, drives, spins, jumper in the lane, no good. That's not a good shot. And the rebound that time comes down to Anumi. And North Florida with it, leading by 15. Here's Sam's driving inside, feeds under the bucket to Horkler, and Horkler was under the backboard, but somehow gets out there and lays it in. Horkler's got 13, 60-43, North Florida. And we're down to five and a half to go in this one. Eagles down in the lane to Griffin, pass across the lane to McGee, who got a layup. Two points there for McGee, four on the night. 60-45, nearing the five-minute mark. Sam's out of the left wing for North Florida. Sams will drive, cut off by Tim Rowe under the baseline. He kicks it out front. Escobar spot up three and he missed it. And the rebound McGee for Southern Miss who gives it to Holland. The Eagles got to play with a sense of urgency now. Here's Holland off to Griffin. Griffin up top McGee turns down the three and got fouled out on the uh, three point line as he was driving to the bucket by Escobar. That puts Southern Miss now in the bonus. Well, Eagles in this ball game have not hit a lot of three-pointers. That's been a little bit of their forte so far this year, but not this afternoon. McGee a one and one. Dominic on the year at the foul line for the Golden Eagles has gone six of ten, and that one rolled off no good. And the rebound, Horkler. Eagles down right now by 15, but it's 4.43 to go. 
here this afternoon in Cancun. With the basketball, it's thrown out of bounds. A drive that time by Gandhi Orosi, and uh, he throws it away. Gabe Watson back in for the Eagles. The Eagles looking for some three-point shooting, so Watson is going to come in. So it's a 15-point advantage for North Florida. Watson will bring it up with Holland into the front court against that stretched out kind of 2-3 matchup zone. Here's Holland up top to Watson. Watson looking inside of under there. Back to Holland. Holland picks up his dribble, and it's knocked away, picked up by McGee. They've got 12 in the shot clock. McGee feeds inside to Rowe. Rowe driving under the bucket, gives it to Watson. A three out of the right corner is no good, and the rebound comes down to Horkler. Who's got it for North Florida. They're in control of this one as we near the four-minute mark. Out front, Gandhi Arosa. He is guarded by Edwards. Drives left, back right. Now picked up by Holland. He's going to hand it off to Hendrickson. Feeds inside, and a pass that is out of the reach of Horkler. And we get a timeout on the court as that one goes out of bounds. 60 to 45. Southern Miss down 15 to North Florida tonight. And we're back after this on the Southern Miss IMG. for North Florida. Three minutes, 50 seconds to go. Golden Eagles led tonight by Tim Rowe with a dozen points. Cortez Edwards, 11. The only two Golden Eagles in double figures, but Edwards is 5 of 17 shooting in the ball game. So the Miss as a team is uh, not shot at well either. They're only shooting 33% this afternoon. So some of us with the basketball, but they got a lot of ground to make up with just under four minutes to go. Watson in the front court. He's pressured out front by Escobar. Now gives it to Griffin. Back up to Watson. Watson dribbles to the right side. Feeds down inside. Here's a drive inside by Edwards with a left hand. Laid it up. Wouldn't go. Tipped up. No good. Boy, Edwards doesn't usually miss that one, but that one wouldn't go. So Edwards just 5 of 18 shooting. And North Florida, the basketball, as we are nearing the three minute mark. And there's an offensive foul they call a blocking foul. Sams collided with Tyree Griffin, but uh, I guess the rule that Griffin initiated that contact. So, free throw opportunity here for Garrett Sams. Sams, the today has gone three for three at the foul line. All three of those have come here in the second half. This one's up no good. And the rebound, Watson, for the Golden Eagles. The Eagles got to play quickly now. Ahead to Griffin. Griffin, the front court, driving, and he threw it away. Tried to throw it back to Watson and threw it out of play. That's a turnover by the Golden Eagles. That's their 15th of the afternoon here in Cancun. 60 to 45. Southern Miss down 15, and now 310 to go. Here in their opening game in the Cancun Challenge. North Florida front court guarded by Edwards. Here's a drive by Gandhi Orosi. Kicks it out to Escobar who thinks about it. Shoots a three and missed it. It ricochets off the top of the backboard and the rim. And it's rebounded by Gandhi Orosi. And now they get it back out front. Gandhi Orosi comes off a pick. Drives and shoots a floater and he hit it. That's his first bucket of the evening. He's got four points, and it's 62-45. Kevin Holland up top to Watson. Now we're down to two and a half to go. Into the right corner. Eagles will give it up. 
Back out to Holland. Back to Griffin. Griff driving the baseline. Under the bucket. Out front to Watson. Watson driving down inside. Lays it over the left. Right hand. It wouldn't go. Around the rim and went out. And the rebound comes out of there to Gandhi to Rossi. And then a foul in the backcourt on the Golden Eagles. It's going to be on Watson. So now down to 213 to go, and it's a 62-45 advantage for North Florida. The Eagles had closed it to seven points at one time here about midway through the second half. They missed some key buckets that may have given them a chance to rally even closer, but here's a free throw opportunity now for Ivan Gandhi Orosi. Tim Rowe goes out for the Golden Eagles. So does Cortez Edwards. In is the freshman Tyler Stevenson. He checks in. And uh, also in is the freshman Crunchy Marshall, the Darius Marshall. Penny Hampton is in as well for the Golden Eagles. Free throw by Gandhi Orosi. He rattled that in. He'll get a bonus. So with a couple of minutes to go, Doc going to give some of the young guys a chance to play here on the opening day of the Cancun Challenge. Free throw up, and that one rolls in for Gandhi Orosi. And here comes Shaq Daniel in for the Golden Eagles to replace Kevin Holland. So all the starters are out now for the Golden Eagles. They're down 64-45. Down 21 at halftime, got it back to seven, but now down by 19. Eagles playing in the lane and throw it away. Hampton caught it in the lane, tried to touch pass it inside to Stevenson, and it went through his hands and out of bounds. Now next up for the Golden Eagles, they'll play early tomorrow against Western Carolina. So that'll be a 12:30 start here in Cancun. And that makes it an 11:30 start back in Mississippi and along our network. So that means our broadcast will be uh, scheduled to get underway at uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. We'll get a timeout taken by North Florida, so we're going to hang on right here. So, uh, well, tough day for the Golden Eagles. So it will be an 11:30 Central Time start tomorrow for Southern Miss against Western. Carolina, they were losers earlier today to Jacksonville State. So an 11.30 tip for the Golden Eagles, an 11 a.m. pregame show from here in Cancun. And the Eagles will have a chance to bounce back as they take on the Catamounts of Western Carolina. And I'm not sure the Eagles have ever met. We'll have to check into that. I don't think the Eagles have ever met Western Carolina. And, uh, no, they haven't. It'll be the first ever meeting between the Golden Eagles and Western Carolina tomorrow. Here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. They've done a nice job of turning this ballroom slash convention center into a basketball arena. Two more games to go tonight. SMU's getting ready to play. North floor plays it in. They've got it. They've got a couple of new guys in. There's Copeland out front. He's in for the first time today. He gives it over to Hendrickson. Hendrickson's going to give it back to Coffey, who hasn't played much today. Coffey's going to shoot a three out front and miss it off the front of the iron. The rebound, Penny Hampton for the Golden Eagles. Gives it to Daniel. Daniel into the front court. Up top to Christian Clark, who's in. Clark got it left side back to Daniel feet inside Stevenson a turnaround jumper comes out no good and the rebound comes down to trip day for North Florida Eagles I mentioned this earlier Eagles were without Leonard Harper Baker his grandmother passed away and so he went back home to take care of some family business so Eagles without Leonard Harper Baker Here's a ball moving around for North Florida. There's a drive and the pass out front. Comes to Day, who missed a long three straight away, and the rebound knocked out of bounds by Stevenson with 51 seconds. So Eagles were without Harper Baker, one of their starters today. So ball will be played in from under the basket by North Florida. 
And the coffee throws into the left corner. Here's a three ball by Copeland. It won't go. And the rebound tipped out and recovered by Day. So North Florida backing away. Coffee's got it out in the center circle. Gives it up to Hendrickson. High post pass. They go. Now they spring it back out front. They're moving it around, working the clock down. 30 seconds to go in the ball game. Back out on the wing. Hendrickson turned down a three. Feeds down inside. Down inside it goes. Now they go back out front with it. Here's a drive and a floater down the lane. That's no good. And the rebound, Crunchy Marshall for the Golden Eagles. Marshall into the front court and gives it off to Daniel. Daniel feeds inside to Stevenson, who lays it in and got fouled on the play. That's good ball movement by the young guys, the freshmen. So bucket count, 64-47. North Florida, 11.3. Seconds to go. That foul was on day, and so Stevenson will try to complete the three-point play. Tyler out of Columbus, Mississippi. Missed the free throw. Tipped no good. Tipped again. Stevenson got the rebound and got fouled with 9.2 seconds to go. So this one's going to go to North Florida. They're going to get their second win of the year. They're going to go to two and three. And they will meet Jacksonville State tomorrow in the finals in the Mayan division of this tournament. Free throw good by Stevenson. Tyler 6-7 true freshman out of Columbus, Mississippi, New Hope High School. Second free throw Stevenson left that one short. Rebound tipped out and North Florida's got it and they're going to run the clock out. Three seconds, two, and it's going to be a North Florida victory. 64 to 48 over the Golden Eagles. So Southern Miss loses for the first time this year. They fall to three and one on the year. While the Ospreys of North Florida get their second win of the year, they go to two and three. So Southern Miss falls here on the opening day of the Cancun Challenge at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya in this Mayan division matchup. So it'll be Southern Miss and Western Carolina for the first time ever tomorrow. And it'll be Jacksonville State against North Florida for the championship of the Mayan division of the Cancun Challenge. We'll be back, begin our post-game show after this on the Southern Miss IMG Sports Network.